Mm -hmm. or else, right? <laughs> what a story, though. Pretty wild. Uh, how's the weather looking? Say, say it's not looking wild. Yeah, it's not looking wild. We're okay, not, thank you for we're not dealing that. with anything <laughs> of the severe nature. Okay. We'll have to deal with some thunderstorms over the next several days, but overall, no huge concerns with any of those storms turning severe. And we've actually enjoyed a couple of days of dry weather. As we end the month of May, getting ready to transition into the month of June, precipitation in terms of the amount is about normal for this time of year, the month of May. We picked up about just on the underside of four and a half inches, which is right where we're supposed to be. But we start off June with what looks like a wetter trend. We can see a weather system that's coming out of Texas, Oklahoma region that's going to swing our way, bringing us some rain showers. But that's not going to be for roughly 18 to 24 hours. So the rest of this evening going to stay dry and your Saturday starts off dry as well. But as we get into the afternoon and the evening, you can see that rain chance really increasing. So here's what future track shows for the weekend. Mostly cloudy to partly cloudy conditions tomorrow morning. Then thicker cloud cover continues to roll in by about lunchtime. But still the rain remains off to the west by about that time. And then as 3 o'clock rolls around, we're seeing rain push into Wabash, Marion, down into possibly Hartford City as well. By 5, 6 p.m., we're now talking Columbia City, Fort Wayne, Bluffton, down into Burn, getting in on the rain. And this will become more widespread as we go into the evening and then into the midnight hour. After about 3 a.m. or so, we'll see most of that rain push out of the area. And by the time you're waking up on Sunday morning, we're mostly done with the precipitation. There may be a stray sprinkle lingering around throughout the day. I don't think it's going to be this widespread. I believe much of Sunday is going to be dry. So really, it's that short window that we're watching in between Saturday afternoon and very early Sunday morning for the best rain chances. And it could be soggy as well. We're talking rain totals, everybody in the blue, estimated about half an inch of rainfall. So this is going to bring quite a bit of precipitation with it. Tonight, though, we're nice and dry, partly cloudy. Temperatures when you wake up in the morning will be in the low to mid 50s across the area. And if you have plans this weekend, I know there's a lot of graduation parties going on. Uh, you need to get yard work done. If you have outdoor plans in the evening tomorrow, you want to at least have a plan to move them inside because that's going to be the best time frame for rain. We'll only warm up into the low 70s on Saturday as well. But Sunday, I think, is going to be a very nice day with temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 70s. And we'll see an increasing amount of sunshine as we go throughout the day on Sunday as well. Monday, we return to the 80s, 83 degrees. There's a chance we see an isolated rain shower later on in the day. Much of Monday is going to be dry as well. Tuesday, a slightly better chance for rain and a few rumbles of thunder. We're still in the 80s that day as well. Wednesday, we see some rain chances return. I think Wednesday looks like, at least right now, a pretty soggy day, and we see temperatures climb into the low 80s and upper 70s. And then that isolated rain chance lingering around into Thursday. I mentioned that yesterday, how weather models were trending. Even Thursday, seeing some rain showers, so that does look like at least it's going to be the case. Some hit and miss showers possible. And then as we cool down for next Friday, We'll see plenty of sunshine, mid-70s, and we should stay at least dry as we start next weekend. All right.